I am in the kitchen with none other than famous Caribbean fusion chef, Chef Steven Ciceron. Steve, how are you? I'm doing well. Pleasure to be here. I'm so excited to have you on this evening and we're going to be talking about pepper shrimp. So tell us a little bit about this famous dish, pepper shrimp. Awesome dish. Awesome, awesome dish. It's typically a tomato-based sauce. Standard recipe, onions, sweet peppers, carrots. Mm -hmm. That's it. Shrimp. Awesome dish. What I'm doing, I'm bumping it up. I'm doing my fusion. So a little bit of Thai, a little bit of Malaysian, a little bit of Chinese. We're still keeping it authentic, okay. but we're still, we're bumping it up. We're making it my way. Yeah. Well, you know, you are famous for your fusion cooking, the Caribbean and the Asian cooking. So tell us a little bit about these ingredients. I mean, this looks so colorful and so delicious already. Tons of vegetables. <laughs> so what we're doing here, we have a medley of peppers. We have sweet, red, yellow, green. We have a little heat, a little kick is coming in from jalapeno peppers. Mm -hmm. We have carrots, and of course, you know, I love mushrooms. We so I had I have to incorporate them into the dish. <laughs> well, I know you're really famous for your dumplings with the mushrooms in yeah. it. So this is going to be amazing. Those awesome. Some really awesome, big, healthy mushrooms there. One of my favorite <laughs> mushrooms is the oyster mushroom. It's meaty. It's the texture of it. It's very luscious. It works perfect with this particular dish. Awesome. I can't wait. So tell us about some of these ingredients here on the countertop. Right. So standard, we have a ginger garlic paste. Mm. Um, you can find it store-bought, okay. but it's so much better fresh. Uh, it's fresh ginger, fresh garlic, half and half. Um, my addition to it is scallions. You want something a little bit herbaceous in there. Okay. So again, this is my recipe, guys. You can change this around. It's it's a guideline. If you don't like the scallions, you can use, you know, parsley. You can okay. use basil, Italian basil. If you can get Thai basil, that would be great with this dish. So anything herbal. I mean, we can grow some of these things in our backyard too. Definitely, definitely. Awesome. I do all the time for the summer. Great. What's next? <laughs> the next thing is I'm using chicken stock. Mm. So I, I made this myself, but store-bought is just as good. Okay. Right? Um, this, you have tons out there. You have low sodium. You have chicken. You have pork. You have beef. You can get seafood. You can get anything out of vegetable stock. Water is perfectly fine. Okay. Wine is even better. Ooh, wine. Okay. A little bit of white <laughs> wine. So again, falling back on the standard, it's a ketchup-based sauce. So we have a ketchup in there. Okay. I added two additional sauces in there just to kick it up, just to bump it up, just to do the fusion. So I have some oyster sauce and some hoisin sauce. Mm. And lastly, the star, shrimp. Okay. Peeled, deveined, cleaned, simple salt and pepper. We're going to stay away from, from adding a lot of salt mm -hmm. because the sauces do have salt. And I tell people this all the time. It's easier to add it later on. Okay. It's really hard to take away salt. Right. So it's better for you to just keep it, you know, nice and simple and season as you're going. Awesome. Well, it sounds pretty easy. Yeah, it is. So are we ready to cook we this We are ready trip? to roll. We're ready All to right. go. Let's do this. Let's go. <laughs> so Chef Steven, how long have you been cooking for? I've been cooking for quite a while. Uh, 20 years, actually 23 years to be exact. Awesome. I, I read somewhere that you started in the kitchen at the age of seven. I did. I started at home, you know, I have the typical mom, dad, my mom would do the, the breakfast, lunch, dinner type thing. Uh -huh. But I always wanted something different. So again, I had to start, I had to do it by myself and that's how actually how I started. Okay. So what is your favorite cuisine? My favorite cuisine is definitely Asian. Mm, I love, I love it. Uh, Thai, Malaysian, Korean, Japanese, although I don't cook Japanese. Mm -hmm. Thai, Malaysian, and Korean. What would you say is the healthiest thing to cook, the healthiest style of food to cook? That's a really hard question because mm -hmm. every nationality, every ethnic group does have something healthy. Mm -hmm. So that's a really hard question. Um, the simple answer to that is steamed. Steamed, okay. So <laughs> steam you can steam anything. You can like steam chicken, or bake anything. Fish. Yep. Okay. And what about tasting? I mean, like, would you say steam cooking is tasteful? So it's, it's all flavor profiles. You have to learn how to build your flavor profile. Mm -hmm. So something simple like this sauce, the ginger garlic sauce, um, you can do it with chicken. You know, maybe you want to add basil. Um, sometimes you might want to add scallions, parsley. So you can play with it. Right. Now, Chef Steven, I know you are our Caribbean celebrity chef. If you could cook for anyone out there, who would it be? <laughs> I know it's me, but you're cooking for me it's, now. Uh, I'm cooking for you now. 
So I... Besides me, who would you, who would you like to cook for? <laughs> I actually love TV host. Okay. So two names that come right off the bat, Andrew Zimmern. Okay. And the other gentleman who was just in Trinidad, Anthony Bourdain. Mm, awesome. So I would actually love to cook for either one of those guys simply because they both travel. They do cooking shows. They, they do Asia. Mm -hmm. So I love it. I love exactly what they're about. What would you cook for them? Oh, my God. That's <laughs> such a hard question. Um, they, so Andrew is, is really different. He'll have uh -huh. about anything. He has the, the, the weirdest stuff. Um, Anthony's the same way, but he loves heartier What do you mean dishes. weird stuff? What is it that he's eating? Well, eating? he'll eat stuff that most folks would not try. Um, one dish is something called balut. It's a f fertilized egg. Oh. So it's something you get like in Thailand. You get it, you crack it open, and there's mm -hmm. a, a, it's a fertilized egg, so there's a bird in there. Oh. <laughs> would you try that? No. I would. Absolutely not. <laughs> Very interesting. So if there was a celebrity chef that you could collaborate with, who uh -huh. would that be? Definitely Anthony Bourdain. Okay. Definitely Anthony Bourdain. Um, there's so many awesome chefs out there. Awesome, awesome chefs. I tend to like what he does and what okay. he's about. and that. Awesome. This is already smelling absolutely amazing. Awesome, I awesome. Smell smell, the you ginger. smell the ginger, you smell the garlic. So oh from here, goodness. what we're going to do is just add the chicken stock, uh -huh. thin it out a little bit. Again, a bit. Mm -hmm. And now is where the sauce comes in. Mm, that looks so good. So who cooks for you? Yeah, that's, that's, that's a tough one. I cook for myself. Would you let anybody cook for you? I will. Mm -hmm. I, I actually... You will, so you I don't. Will. Yeah. Besides mommy. <laughs> Except mom. Okay. So mom makes the best food, right? Uh -huh. Um... But I'm, I'm still always so so critical about these things, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. um, always with the spices. They have to have a really good flavor profile in there. Mm -hmm. I like spicy, so it's definitely got to be spicy. Well, you know, Caribbeans, we love spicy food. Yeah, and this dish definitely is spicy. Well, of course, pepper, shrimp. So tell me, I mean, I know you're a chef. You mm -hmm. like to cook your own food. I know you cook for a lot of people. You also have your own catering business. Yes. But if you were to go to a restaurant, I mean, uh -huh. do you go out eating at all? Or I do you go just out prefer... eating a lot. Oh, you do? I do. Okay. I really do. Now, what is that like for you? Are you like always judging everyone's food? <laughs> <laughs> you have to be. Yeah. You have to be, right? Um, but you can't be over critical. Okay. You know, you, you really can't be because, again, everyone is an individual. Everyone has an individual taste. So being a chef, it's one of those things where we're very proud of our dishes. Each chef is very proud. We're all unique. Mm -hmm. So me making this, this shrimp dish for you today, you're not going to get it anywhere else. You're it's gonna, going to be your own It's going to be my, my own unique taste. So you can go to another chef. You can go to 20 other chefs that's making the same pepper shrimp, and but they're all going to be different. And that's, that's what's just awesome about it. Awesome. So Chef Steven, tell us a little bit about Fusion 101. Fusion 101 is a company I created years ago mm -hmm. um, from my many travels. I, I love the Caribbean. I've been to all the islands and just sampling and working with different local chefs. I, I love working with local chefs. I'm not about the fancy and, and the tourist spots. Mm -hmm. That's all good and well, but I want the authentic flavor, the feel of a dish. I know normally every time you and I speak, you're uh -huh. generally traveling and yeah. you're generally cooking for some celebrity out in the Caribbean. <laughs> so, you know, we're Oops. really lucky to have you here on Let's Talk today. And oh my goodness, this is really smelling amazing. Healthy dish. It's, it's so healthy and tons of vegetables. Now, the carrots are going to take the longest here. So once okay. the carrot is cooked, everything else is done because the peppers cook really quick. Uh -huh. The mushrooms, the onions, they all cook really, really quick. Yeah, it looks like everything's cooking. Everything's cooking. Very, very well, uh -huh. and the smell is just amazing. So it looks like we're almost done, mm -hmm. and we're going to get a taste we of are. this wonderful pepper shrimp. We're adding in that last bit the of last shrimp bit there. Of shrimp. Now, this was pre-cooked before. Yep, it was just the, how I sauteed the, the cup of shrimp in the beginning. Mm -hmm. um, it's the same thing, again, nothing but salt and pepper. Again, because the sauce itself does has a lot of salt. Mm -hmm. So again, flavor profile, it's so much easier to add salt than take away. 
Awesome. So this took about five minutes, I'd say. That's it. We were chit chatting here for a whole five minutes. It's and it's all the like it's all the prep ready. work. The prep work takes the longest, and the dish is actually done. Awesome. Dish is actually well, done. Well, let's stop talking and let's start eating. Let's taste this. <laughs> Definitely. So what I have here is a little bit of rice. Mm -hmm. And I will plate this up for you. And you tell me what you think. Mm, so of course, so I, I'm going to put those, uh, those mushrooms in there for you. Yes. Oh, presentation is just presentation. fabulous. You fabulous. Oh my goodness. Well, guys, let's eat, okay? Let's taste this. Good stuff, eh? This is so <laughs> delicious. Oh my goodness, Chef Steven, this is amazing. Guys, make sure you go on our website and you get this recipe for this amazing fusion Caribbean pepper shrimp, Asian style, all in a mix by our chef here, Steven Cicero. And I can't even talk, it's so good. <laughs> um, Slick, I wish you were here, not more for me. I'll see you in a bit. you get this car? I got it at Triple Crown Auto. It's an awesome dealership. I tried to get a car here, but they denied me. Trust me, you go there, they'll hook you up. Listen, I have bad credit, I have past bankruptcies, I get paid off the books, I want a nice car, and I only can put $500 down payment. You're approved. Hmm. When looking at places that cares for the elderly, my Indian nursing home is that perfect place. We provide a clean and safe family environment with culturally experienced and qualified medical staff on site, such as doctors, nurses, physical therapists, and cooks. All of our residents can celebrate cultural festivities and have access to recreational programs with Indian TV, music, live shows, entertainment, and so much more. For the perfect place for comfort, culture, and care, bring your parents to my Indian nursing home, a home away from home. Contact Heavenly Flowers too for all of your floral decor and event planning. For the best, fresh, quality flowers, courteous service, best price and more, call 516-747-0454 or 631-598-6800. All major credit cards are accepted, delivered to all five boroughs. Mention Let's Talk for a 10% discount. We promise to make every experience heavenly. Visit us on the web at www.heavenlyflowers.net. Hi, I'm Dr. Priya, and welcome to Precious Miles Medical Care, a wonderful place to make sure that all of your child's medical care needs are met. We take care of kids as young as newborns all the way up until their adolescent years till they turn 18. We provide in-house vaccines and in-house lab facilities so that you don't have to take them anywhere else. So come in, let us be your partners in care A Precious Miles Medical Care, where every kid leaves with a smile. Libby provides an educational experience to succeed in today's complex and changing business environment and supports the immediate efforts of our students while laying the foundation for lifelong learning. I want to move up to management, so I'm in the hospitality management program. I'm passionate about the safety of our community, so I'm in the homeland security and security management program. We are a military-approved school, and we participate in the Yellow Ribbon Program. Libby provides lifetime job placement assistance. To learn more about our degrees and certificates, visit our website at libby.edu. When a young girl visits Guyana, she learns of her ancestors' past that changes her life forever. When I was your age, my father told me a story. The first batch of Indians arrived in British Guyana to replace slave labor. Echoes from the plantation relives their struggles and sufferings. 
tells of the resilience and fortitude. My father, my grandfather, as well as thousands of others have sacrificed their lives. Celebrating 180 years of Indian arrival in Guyana, Echoes from the Plantation, releasing April 2018. Guyana Guyana I know this school is, is a place set up in the community to help children to further their education, to achieve a goal of computer solicit. I want to thank God for the scholarship for Rebecca Jerome, you know, sponsored by the school. And the owner, you know, I just want to thank God for them to continue to do the good work as they are doing in this community. I want to say a special thanks to Save Up Computer School because my daughter went to the school. She do a, um, a computer course here, and she was called. She went for an interview at the Regional Democratic Council for a job with 49 person for two spots, and um, she indicated to them that she visit. She do a course at Save Up Computer School, and she do have a certificate. And as soon as she produced a certificate, she was hired in the spot. For all your special private and professional occasions, no event is too big or too small. We cover it all. Contact the professional source for all your party or special occasion needs. We have you covered at Star Party Rentals. Call us, 516-239-2242. Please mention Let's Talk With Luxury for discount pricing.